You said the corkscrews and these things were useless. G'day and welcome to my look at the Victory Knox Ranger. Yes, another Swiss Army knife. Regular viewers of my channel might notice I've seen a few of these and uh, it's because I'm really enjoying these knives and getting right into them and finding the usefulness of them. Um, I guess I'm a little bit late in discovering that, but hey, better late than never. As mentioned, this particular one is the Ranger model. It's the latest one that I've bought and it's, oddly enough, the first red Swiss Army knife that I've ever owned, which is kind of bizarre. It's also the first five layer knife that I've owned. So what we're going to do without further ado is we'll zoom back and we'll have a bit of a, an explore and see what this has got to offer. This is one of the 91mm sized models from Victorinox which is a, a very popular um, size, they make a wide range of these things. Um, as mentioned five layers, so you can see on the back there we've got one, two, three, four, five layers. I'll just roll in a knife I'll be using to compare occasionally. This is the Camper which I've previously reviewed and you can see that that's a free layer model. Of course, that's going to give you um, obviously less tools, but it's going to be lighter and slimmer to carry, but we'll talk about that later. First off, let's just dig in and see what this has got to offer us. Of course, it's got the keyring on the back. It's got the toothpick, which I still haven't really found a, a good use for. And the tweezers, which I really do like. Um, I use these for everything from geocaching, getting logs out, um, removed a tick with them the other weekend scrub tick when I was out doing some geocaching in the bush so really handy I was glad to have them on board. What we might do is we'll start up on the back of the knife and one of the significant differences with the five layers like this compared to the three layer I've just showed you is, is the amount of extra tools up here on the back. So we've already seen the corkscrew in action and yes it does work. Um, that's one use for it obviously is removing corks. One of um, the comments I got on a previous review was that one guy was saying he uses these to undo knots which I haven't tried myself yet, but I think that would probably be a, a pretty good thing. Now, you've got to open the corkscrew here at the first tool I'm going to show you. You can just see the little nail nick there. So we'll get that out, and I'll pull the corkscrew back down. That, oddly enough, is sharp on the end. That's basically some sort of form of chisel. Um, I don't know what one would do with that, but it's certainly something you want to be careful of. It is sharp, and it does work overused it on timber. So I'll just wind that down out of the way. Next one in is... A little screwdriver, very fine flat screwdriver there, and this one is the hook. Now, I seriously have no idea what I could use that for, but I'm sure I'll think of something. Okay, next one here, we go over to the other side to get to this one. No, we don't. Sorry, we should do that. It's one of my winges. It's the awl, which is incidentally a great tool. But uh, my problem with it is the nail nicks on that inside. So as you can probably see there, it's quite awkward to get to. You've got to want to get in and, and grab it like that. It would have been a lot more sensible Victor Inox, in my view, to put the nail nick on the outside just there. So that's all the tools that we have on the back of the knife. Coming down to the front, we of course have a small blade or pen blade. Fold that back in and right beside that is the main blade. Now it's hinged from the opposite end of the knife, like so. Both good blades, um, really useful. The pen blades I find really great for opening parcels, that type of thing, small use, but of course the main blade is going to get, get most of your work. As always, the Victor Inox, these, uh, these came nice and sharp, straight out of the box, didn't need to do anything with them. So I'll fold that one in. Next across is a uh, file. It's also got a nail file end on it. And I think they're pretty much the same. I suspect this side here is slightly finer than that, but it's very hard to say. And interestingly enough, there's also on the edge there a, um, a saw, which is basically like a, uh, a hacksaw blade. Probably a very limited use. I um, haven't tried anything much harder than sort of aluminium, and it did cut it slightly, but it's, you wouldn't want to rely on it. But possibly in an emergency, it would come in useful. Okay, that's the saw, or the metal saw. We've got the wood saw, same as uh, you get on the camper model that we showed there before. This is an excellent saw, really very effective. And I, I won't demonstrate, I did I think in the uh, camp review if you want to look at that vid, but really excellent, excellent piece of gear. Next in is something I'm really happy to have and it makes the five layer model, um, the one to have for me, is the scissors. Um, excellent scissors, absolutely first class, uh, very useful indeed, I've used them quite a lot and I'm wrapped to have them on the knife. I think they're just excellent. 
and we're at the last couple of tools now. We're at the large flat blade screwdriver with the wire stripper bottle cap opener. Of course it's got the half stop so you can get some leverage on that for screwdriving and it'll open right out. Last we have, this is a standard tool, we've all seen these before I'm sure, we've got our can opener and we've got our small or medium sized flat blade screwdriver. In this case we've got a smaller, smaller version of the flat blade on the back of the knife. So that's it. Now as mentioned, a little bit heavier than some of the other Victorinox. It is uh, a five layer. I think the only one bigger than this is the uh, the full size. The name escapes me, which you carry in a pouch. This one, however, is still pocket carryable. Um, it's quite wide. It's 23 millimeters. To give you a comparison with the camper, the camper's 18. So you can see there's a significant difference in the width there, and you will notice that in the pocket. Likewise, the weight, the Ranger, weighs in at 118 grams or 4.2 ounces. The free layer, free layer model we have here, the camper, which I'm assuming is, is relatively these weights will be the same for any five or three layer, is 75 grams or 2.7 ounces. So there is a difference and you will notice that in your pocket. This is probably an easier version, the small ones for uh, EDC for most of your needs. However, if you're prepared to take the little extra bulk and weight and have this in your pocket, you do get a heck of a lot more tools and a lot more capability and I think it's well worth that if you uh, can carry this in your pocket comfortably. So, another great Victorinox product. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.